I should not be drinking coffee jokes. There's nothing inside. Coffee is actually so bad for you. This video is going to break down why coffee is bad for you and why you should ditch it. Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. There are obvious benefits when it comes to coffee and that's probably why we incorporate in our everyday routine why we drink it pretty often such an increase in focus a boost in mood and of course it wakes you up but there are actually a really evil and dark side to coffee and i'm gonna get right into it now evil reason number one coffee magnifies your body's response to stress so in technical terms, this is actually called hyperadrenalism. Your adrenal glands overreact to stressful events. Now you already naturally kind of stress with small things like thinking about work or um, not knowing uh, what skincare to use and also big things like a family fight or relationship issues. But if you also drink coffee, it magnifies your body's response to that stress levels. So it increases your cortisol levels, which is called your stress hormones. So the increase of stress hormones actually pump out insulin. Now insulin affects your acne in three ways. Number one is so it sends your oil glands into overdrive and makes you produce excess sebum and that's not very good for your acne. Number two, insulin also promotes the overproduction of new skin cells, which makes your pores more likely to be clogged. And three, pumping out insulin actually increases the body's inflammation. So that means more red, sore, swollen pimples. <laughs> I know it's really tough. I used to be so addicted to coffee, but hear me out. It's actually not good. And when you form a better habit of not drinking coffee, trust me, you're going to love reaping the benefits and you're never going to look back. The next one is coffee makes you crave more sugar than your body usually needs. So it's imbalancing your blood sugar levels. And because it's heightening your stress hormones, it stimulates your cravings for sweets, calorie dense foods, also salty, high carbohydrate snacks. And pretty much this is a recipe for disaster. And these are the top foods that trigger acne into worsening. So coffee pretty much changes your appetite in a negative way causing you to create bad habits with food not only does coffee make you crave for junk food it also interferes with absorption of food minerals so when you drink coffee before or close to a meal it throws your body off whack not absorbing your central nutrients such as zinc selenium and iron and so when you're deficient in minerals your acne cannot heal at its optimal rate the list is pretty long because I'm on to my next one coffee also destroys the gut flora so so your gut microbiome needs to have a good balance of good and bad bacteria. Your gut is kind of like your baby. You're meant to nurture it so the rest of your body can function as per normal. When you're drinking coffee, um, not only are you upsetting your digestive system, causing you to be deficient in minerals, it can also pretty much impede the way you flush out toxins. Your toxins are gonna be trapped in your digestive system, go into your bloodstream, create leaky gut, and it's gonna detox out in your skin. I know it sounds crazy, but all of this does happen, not just because of coffee, but because it's like a kind of domino effect. One thing upsets another, that upsets another, and then a whole vicious cycle happens. So be very, very careful. I mean, you can take probiotics to help your gut, but probiotics is not enough. You have to heal holistically. If you're drinking coffee and taking probiotics, it's just gonna cancel each other out. Now the next one and the obvious one is coffee interferes with your sleep cycle. When you are sleeping at night, that's when your skin heals the most. And if you're not having adequate sleep or quality sleep because of your coffee, then again, your acne can worsen. And how can I forget, coffee really dehydrates you. I know for certain whenever I drink coffee, I start to sweat more, I start to feel like my mouth is dry. And when your mouth feels dry, it also can be an indication of yeast overgrowth in your mouth when your tongue is coated and it feels like a Sahara desert. So be very, very careful with how much coffee you drink, limit or cancel coffee altogether. So if you drink coffee for the purpose of, for example, waking yourself up and boosting your mood levels, there are so many different ways. For example, waking up early and exercising. When you're increasing that blood flow, not only is it helping your skin, but it boosts your mood as well. Number two, showering with cool water. 100% changes your life drastically. If you're somebody who takes really hot showers all the time, slowly decrease the temperature. So it's not like super, super cold, but cool water. And that calms down inflammation as well as boosting your mood. Try to jumpstart your day with a snack. That way you're not prone to grabbing a coffee um, and also eating well. By eating healthy meals and snacks, this really regulates your blood sugar level. And when your blood sugar levels are stabilized, you're less likely to have sugar cravings. And of course, stay hydrated. I know some people roll their eyes and they're like, oh my God, I'm 
people always tell me to drink water to kill my acne it's not going to kill your acne but it's going to help so much the fluids that you take hydrate your skin as well as help your digestive system even if you're eating healthy and you're not drinking enough water it's going to lead to constipation and it's not going to be a healthy digestive system so you need to balance and make sure that you drink enough water juicing really helps celery juicing is kind of salty but i really really love it i'm going to cut this video short i hope this video is helpful big kisses and i hope you have a lovely day Bye guys.